perfect. So thanks, Richard. That talk was amazing. For someone who didn't come along to the event, what are five key takeaways that you would suggest to them? So first thing is just do it. If you if you've got an idea, you want to do something, and you think about it, and you never actually take action, you'll never know um, if it's going to eventuate. So the big thing is just do it. Um, another thing is embrace embrace vomit moments. Like push yourself outside your comfort zone. Do things that aren't necessarily comfortable to you, and if you do that your comfort zone gets bigger and I think you achieve more um, another thing is don't be scared to delegate like find out what you love and what you're good at and focus on that and find out what you dislike and what you're not good at and find other people who love doing that um, and trust people you know build people up trust them because the only way to scale something is to trust those people around you because you're not going to scale something just being yourself mm. you have to have other people um, to scale things um, and probably the last thing um, is love what you do like yeah so many people are in jobs or doing things that they hate you know life's too short mm. you, know, you never know what tomorrow brings so you've got to love every day very true very true good good key points um, one other thing you just mentioned around um, systems and scaling or processes at what point did you notice that you needed to step away from the business and for someone who's currently stuck in that hamster wheel of running their own business what tip would you give them to step away and start implementing systems so the big thing is finding people who are better at those processes and systems than you are and better at the day-to-day -day. Um, and then it's an easy thing to step away because you just let them do their thing and mm. good stuff happens I go in and all sorts of stuff has happened that's far better than I could do and you know I see all these documents that have been created all these processes that have been done and uh, I can do that um, but because I've allowed people the ability to show uh, what they can do like we've got this ops manager and she came in as an entry-level secretary she now runs the entire operations of the business and it's because she was allowed to show what she was capable of and yeah sometimes people are capable of huge things if they're given the opportunity yeah where did you get the cool T-shirt from? So one last question, mm -hmm. second last maybe. Uh, culture. How do you, everyone always talks about culture being a very important part, especially when you're starting out. Make sure it's right from the beginning. How do you go about instilling great culture from the get-go? So interestingly, culture evolves. So the people who are brilliant in day one are not necessarily the people who are good when you've got a larger organization but i think the culture comes from the leader and if you have values as like trust respect integrity and family you've got to truly actually believe and live those values mm. and um i think the culture comes from the way you conduct yourself i have this thing um if what i do i wouldn't be comfortable being on the front page of the herald then i simply don't do it okay? yeah. and so i think it's living by a set of values and, and treat people with respect. I sit with everybody else in the office. Um, I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Um, and I think that understanding that and seeing the value in people and allowing them to um, blossom is, is how you build a good culture. Nice. And so do you, how do you, how do you instill that value in your people? Do you hire based on values or do you uh, hundred percent we hire based on values, but everything we do is based on values. So like a lot of companies will have like a leaving drinks or like a party when someone leaves the company. We do it the other way around. So every time someone joins, we have like a, um, a breakfast thing with everyone. Everyone gets coffee and some muffins and things. And then we go around everyone in the company and say something that nobody else knows about you. So we get to learn about each other. And we get to welcome someone on. We celebrate people coming rather than people going. Mm. Um, the other thing which seems counterintuitive, right, is... Um, especially in sales, like a manager tends to focus on those people that aren't performing and are not doing well and spends all their time trying to help them improve. Whereas it's actually probably better to focus on those doing really well mm. and help them get even better. Like on a sports team, you don't focus on um, the B, C players, you focus on the A players. Yep. Um, and you find often in companies that those A players get neglected because 
all the attentions on the people who aren't performing. And I'm not saying don't give people who aren't performing a chance or a process, but don't neglect those A players. Nice. Um, and always try and improve um, the whole team. So for A players, try and bring in better people all the time. And then when you bring in good people, good stuff happens. Like you don't yep. even have to do it. Like they just do it. And you see you're constantly improving. And I think that's a, a yep. massive thing. Awesome. Cool. It's been really good to have you. Cheers, man. Thank you.